10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Good morning, Cybertron! With your hosts, Kingston333, Adam, Oscar, Max Ross Linden, and for mercy, Wholesome, it is 9-9s, T2RX6, Skullface, Raid 9, Iceland Coco Liso, Doctor What, and Blumhole, the Tapeworm of Unicron. Everyone, welcome to episode 146 of Good Morning Cybertron. Do not adjust your screens. You are seeing us. We are violating both your eyes and your ears. With, with me today, Justin. What's going on, everyone? Look at this. Holy shit. Xavier. What's up? And Bobby Skullface. Face, How are you, everybody? Faces. Also, faces, skull faces. Ooh, also chiming in every once in a while, Tracy, the lovely Hi. Tracy. <laughs> and we're coming to you live from the Skull Face Manor basement. Oh yes, oh yes. Don't forget, Adam 8M. I think I fucked up your username, but that's okay. <laughs> um, we're just kind of doing this one off the top of our heads. This is a little unusual looking into a camera. Usually it's a microphone. But I think the topic that everyone is kind of talking about today and that well, everyone's well, itching about. Before you do, oh, yes. I would like to thank uh, T2RX6 <laughs> for the uh, Skullface WD-40. It is official, and uh, I'm totally not going to use it. You know, I'll be squ squeak life till I die. <laughs> <laughs> that translates to he was too lazy to bring the chair down here to use it. Also yeah. true. Yeah. Also true. And he fixed my Metroplex and uh, my uh, Superion, my TFC Superion. So TFC Superion is still looking awesome and Metroplex is still $100. Is, is TFC up on the shelf over there? Uh, no, 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 because no, I got to put his chest piece on. And, okay. But Honest to God, this poor guy has done nothing since he's been here except Dremel and screw. It's been like and not the fun screwing, yeah, the, the other screwing. I've got a whole bunch of shit for him next time he comes. So. It's been like five hours. He's like, I don't want to talk to these guys. <laughs> <laughs> and the first thing Xavier did for me, I'm going to give him a hard time about this. He saw me, hugged me, picked me up. And I think cracked a rib on this. <laughs> to, be, to be honest, Scott, I've been wanting to crack a rib for years. Oh, that's what... Congratulations. It's what Eve did to Adam, you know. Her uh, Adam did to Eve. Broke a rib. We're in Maryland right now. And we have Virginia, Pennsylvania, and California all in the building. And D.C. And D.C. 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 We're missing, we're missing New York, New Jersey. <laughs> Australia, Hawaii, Hawaii, Ohio, Ohio. Shout out Greg for Mercy. I'm, Greg for Mercy. I'm very upset you couldn't make it, buddy. Shout out to Dan Mantis 99s, my fellow Northern Californian. Thank you, Mantis 99s, for everything you've been doing. For Mantis, us. I've never spoken to you, buddy, but I, I like you already. You've, they've never spoken skull to face. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. And Max, thank you for everything you do. Uh, Pete, Josh. Uh, Aboot Justin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Canada. International. <laughs> We're international. Mega TF, man. My God, if I'm forgetting anyone. Chase, Tennessee, representing. Yeah. Uh, I don't think anybody actually can represent Tennessee. You have to represent is yeah. what you have to do. Yeah, <laughs> you have to get court papers drafted right. in Tennessee. Exactly. They, exactly. Don't, they don't like giving out their name like that. I would imagine in Memphis they represent. In Memphis. Not even Memphis. You don't think so? Not even and, uh, geez, if I'm forgetting anyone, I am, I am so sorry, but thank you. Thank you for listening and now watching GMC. For the first time. Yeah. Thank you once again, Bobby, for, for saying, why don't you drunks come to my house? <laughs> I am pretty fucked up at this point. But me and the cameraman. Shout out to the cameraman for getting fucked up with me. Who is just the hand. Yeah. And Tracy's been getting fucked up with us. 
And there's like not really. Four, five I'm sorry, dudes down Scott, here but with this, Tracy and, I don't know. And, and I used to be pretty hardcore, but this ain't really doing. Yeah, anything. you know what? Special <laughs> special shout out to Skullface Girl Junior for being a hardcore G1 fan. Bigger fan than Skullface. Jesus. <laughs> she uh, first first thing she said when she when she saw us was like, "Come to my room. I want to show you something." Trip to con. Yeah. True story. Trip to con. And not like a Cybertron Legends class trip to con. The real deal. No. Honest to God, trip to God. Was she sweet talk down at from fifty price? to thirty five? Yeah, yeah. And no lie, no lie. There was a nice spread on the table, but I had to go get a napkin. But there were some Dinobots of hers there. I swear, I thought I was gonna take a fork to the to the hand. <laughs> Not a napkin. That's all. <laughs> He's like, I just want to fix them. The joints are loose. <laughs> <laughs> Good solid unit. Oh man, but I think I think what everybody's kind of talking about today, though. Uh, News-wise, is the Mastermind Creations Overlord. Mm -hmm. this, we called it. Yeah. Yeah. We called it. This is a badass-looking piece of plastic. Definitely, definitely the superior product, in my opinion. Jesus Christ. But... <laughs> But I, I'm kind of I'm kind of curious as to what we're going to see in the coming weeks. Does it have a base mode? Does it have uh, power masters that it can go with? And I'm sure if it doesn't have power masters, there eventually will be third-party upgrade sets to give it power masters and a base mode. But it has just it's been a damn impressive piece of plastic. I think it'll have all that more. It, it said on BBTS for sure it's going to have five modes. So definitely base mode. I. I can see that because they already had that thing where it's just like here's the tip of the tower and here's two ramps. That's the BTS one though, right? That's the BTS one. Those, those are the guys that did Sonicron too. That's what. Yeah. I, the the I, Mastermind one, from what I hear, is going to be G1. G1 all the way. G1 all the way, and it's going to be a little short. It's going to be hex hexatron's height, whereas the BTS one is going to be 16 inches. It was. I'm. I'm kind of. I'm kind of curious what they're gonna do compared to BTS because they're gonna top it. Because well, that's what they, they, they have to do. To top it. Well, Justin and I were talking about this on the car right over. We were saying BTS did Sonicron. Do we really want to trust them with like Nova Lord because that's gonna be like? And it's two hundred and fifty dollars. I know, but for like for the price, you're getting sixteen inches. That's like true. Sure. A couple of inches on you know Metroplex. That's for sure. And they're saying, look at all the goodness. A couple inches under Metroplex. Did anyone else find a couple inches comparable to I you guys talking about cocks? Oh yeah, <laughs> Tracy, <laughs> please. If you want to have a contest in that, I will also participate. <laughs> He's got the bone to prove it. Tracy pointed this out to me the other day. I, w I was blind to this. But she, she pointed out to me on the Legends class Optimus Prime, the, the artwork on that, dude is totally holding his dick. Is he? Yeah, I mean, you look at that artwork. He's holding, holding roller in target master mode <laughs> out like this, and like the two barrels underneath are so clearly oh, yeah. his balls, and the rifle, long shaft on the rifle, in a pose that you can't even get the figure to do. Just yeah, look, <laughs> look at that bumblebee. Like do that with your little helicopter I like him already. <laughs> what, what if he's just shooting from the hip? Like, what's his name? That sucked sucked yeah. all the time. Well, let's talk about the, let's talk about the prices, though. Let's talk about the prices because the pre-orders went up today, right? Today or yesterday? I think the BTS yesterday. Nova yes, Lord came up yesterday. yesterday. Yeah. So Nova Lord came in at one sixty, one fifty to one sixty, somewhere in there. I was thinking it was more expensive. No, I mean two two fifty, two fifty to two sixty, and then but that's not even like including the shipping. Well, with but TF Source it is. No, because of like... But they don't have it up yet. I'm sorry. Pardon me. They don't have, TF Source doesn't have it. But TF Source does have what B BBTS has with the Fort Max, which is... That's a perfect effect board. How much is that? He was... 160. One, I think it was 170, something like that. He was, he's going to he be Voyager going size for 170? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Sinora. <laughs> hey, I, I like it. I mean, I'm not saying I don't like it. No, no, I, I understand. Like when you say Fort Max, it's like you better bring the beef. To be like you know big enough to. Or not... bring me something I feel like comfortable paying 170 fucking dollars for. Yeah. Yeah. But you know this the size of the thing is fine with me because that's actually represented in the comics, and they're not actually saying it's Fort Max. Like I get it, it's Fort Max. But the the accessories like the gun, which is twice the size he is. And all the awesome like configurations he's got now with like the tanks and I think a basement, right? 
Was there a base one in there? I didn't look at the picture close enough. Even though mm -hmm. I bitched about the whole blurry thing, I didn't even bother looking at it. <laughs> See? <laughs> Let's put a mosaic up to please T2RX6 this time. <laughs> I didn't even fucking look at your picture. I didn't. Sound. You done pissed me off for the last time. <laughs> Bobby even pointed me out on a, a Facebook thread saying, like, here's your picture. And I'm like, eh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Message back, fuck you, Skullface. Thumb up for Bobby. <laughs> Real quick, are my balls showing? Can you see anything? Not yet. I'm going commando today. So. <laughs> today. This guy's got a super short saw, big B ball player. <laughs> He you can slam dunk over my ass. <laughs> you can tell, man. You can just look at me and go, that fucker can jump. <laughs> <laughs> Where were you when white man can't jump was good? <laughs> uh, I have a two centimeter vertical leap. You all be jealous. <laughs> two centimeters? That's better than two millimeter any day. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, two millimeter if I want to play it safe. <laughs> When have you ever played it? In some way, uh, a boot justice going, ah, oh, awesome, they're speaking in centimeters. <laughs> <laughs> Metrics! <laughs> they can learn! <laughs> it's, uh, I'll tell you what, I'm really, really liking the Mastermind Creations Overlord for the simple fact that it's not humongously tall. I, I don't want, I, I don't want a figure that's going to tower over everything. I just want something that's imposing. I want something that can kind of look my hegemon in the eye. 16 I want... inches, man. I... I think that, uh, 16 inches. Was well, that the, is the BTS one 16 inches? Yeah. I'm not, I don't want the BTS one. That is, I'm sorry, that's too goddamn high for my overlord. I want something, what, what's Hexatron height? I don't know, but they said that he will look Hexatron in the eye. Yeah, I'm fine Hexatron with that. Hexatron is a bit shorter than Hercules. He well, he's right up there. Go get him. He's about Master... He's uh -huh. a little yeah. bit taller than You're drunk. Master He uh, He comes up to about, if I recall correct, around Hercules' chest. So. Well, there's Hexatron's right over there behind the Masterpieces. Is he? Bobby could have pointed that out. Yeah. Huh? yeah. <laughs> then I wouldn't be able to pull him off the shelf. Oh, boys and girls, now! Please don't jump, please don't jump, man. Oh, he's got three of those. That's <laughs> <laughs> right, so yeah, say about the chest piece. Yeah. See, I'm fine. I'm absolutely fine with that. Let's just measure it. Yeah, Hegemon is. How, how big is uh? So, so we're looking at about a nine. Oh, I, I could have just pulled. Uh, yeah, nine inches. Look about nine inches. Yeah. I didn't even need this. Well, why don't you measure him? I, I, let me tell you what. I got nine inches eyeballed all day. I know exactly how long it is. I was told to give someone a good is. nine inches. I said, bitch, I don't bend it in half for anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Stem to stern. What is that? <laughs> that is 18. 18. So that's a little bit taller than that uh, BB, uh, BBS one. Yeah. And I think that's too big. But we don't really even know what the proper height is for a reward. Yeah. But I, I want something where he's going to he's gonna look down. I definitely want to be able to look down on Springer, but not be so incredibly huge that he's kind of dwarf. You know, he, he, he's like able to look devastator in the eye. Sure. And the BTS Overlord, that, that thing seems like it's going to be able to look Planet X Genesis oh, yeah. in the eye. Oh, my God, Planet X. Yeah, I wish I had the money for that. <laughs> I wish I had the fucking money for Planet X, but... I, you know, I'm not sure how I feel about Planet X. It's a little... You, you don't have it, do you? Nope. Yeah, it's, it's a little... It's a little much. Yeah. The, the arm bits... It's not enough, though. And then the little legs... <laughs> it's not enough, though. I mean, you're talking about, like, one of the very original, like, gargantuan Titan-class Transformers. And they said, there you go, 350 plus... I like the little feature that the LEDs you can plug in separately. But the forearms are like, I don't, I think they're downright redonkulous. And then the legs are like, you know, more so Bridget. Than is, Bridget is, is, jump off. Yeah, I saw him on the Mega Supreme, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But is he a Titan class? I mean, would you even consider Titan class? He would, he would be in the G1 circuit. Yeah, G1 Titan class. You know, which was, did you mention Bridget? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Five but hours a little harder. Titan class. 30 years ago, whenever we didn't even know it was called Titan Class, the tallest figures you could get were Omega Supreme. They were, uh, you know, Metroplex, Scorponok, Triptychon, and 
Yeah, well, Fort Max, Fort Max was kind of one of those ones that we went, look what the fuck we can do. <laughs> this is beyond Titan class. This is yeah. this is what your parents get you whenever you, the doctor says you have the C word. <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate? No, no, you're not. You <laughs> have getting... car... you have carved up down something. <laughs> and the good news is, even after you're going, I'll be able to resell it for twice its price because <laughs> I have the box. That's <laughs> the thing that never mind. Oh no, no, go ahead. I was say Pete's daughters may get. Pete's daughters are gonna be she's gonna be beaten within inches of her life. <laughs> <laughs> you have cancer? I'll beat it out of you. Shout out to Pete. Pete, I slip Coco Liso. Hey, buddy. That's the New Jersey connection. <laughs> but, I mean, it's like, yeah, Lord forbid if your parents ever walked in with a Fort Max and a USS flag whenever you were a kid, <laughs> just, you should start picking out a tombstone. <laughs> hey, 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 the odds are pretty good you might have won the lottery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. The odds are better that you have cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that sad? Maybe you shouldn't have stared at the spaghetti or in the microwave as long as you did. <laughs> <laughs> If the price isn't too exorbitant, and MMC has been pretty good about pricing. Well, Jesus. what's the Hexatron is what, 130? Yeah. yeah. So I would say it would be in that ballpark, and I'm, I'm good with that. Yeah. Right. This also plays in the theory that Mastermind Creations is out to mastermind every creation. They're like, <laughs> if, you, if you got some third party talk about, this is why they blur images now, because it's like, I see what he did there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, hey. It's a valid point. It's yeah. valid. I, I'll give you that one. Blur images so nobody knows what you're actually working on. Right, so right. mass mind creations can't time <laughs> travel to the future. <laughs> the thing that got me, though, was now even Hasbro's doing it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 with, yeah, yeah. with a subscription club. It's like, oh, if you join the subscription club now, you'll get... Oh, no! <laughs> you'll get something. The only difference the is when they actually it. reveal the subscription club, you're like, uh... I guess. <laughs> a lot of people are thinking somebody somebody kind of went by like the way the wrist was shaped that what that subscription service figure is the mystery seventh one is going to be your Beast Wars Megatron mold from the Grimlock figure. Yeah. What yeah. happened to um, the fucking Protoform X from the an or the the Prime Megatron? Was wasn't that what's supposed to be one of them? Was no, that's a that's one of their club exclusives. Old style thing. Yeah, just yeah. buy it off their website. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember that coming up, and then they on BBTS they listed all six figures already. Yeah. And I thought for sure one of them was going to be that Protoform X, which is I really want that one. It's a good looking figure. It is. I I hate to say that, but, but you know, good looking figure. The thing is, we're all with each other though. <laughs> what's up with the figure? Why did you drop the U? The figure? Yeah, and it's not I just you. Oscar, Oscar, you listening? You do that shit too. Who? A lot of people do it. Figure. I, I'll i tell you this. I actually saw you guys writing F-I-G-G-E-R. <laughs> Number one, I like the way the words that it rhymes with. Number two. <laughs> which, of is, which of course is trigger. Yeah, trigger. Oh, I did you. Figure, I guess, would be the correct way. Figure. There, figure. there are certain words. I'm going. I'm going to let everybody in on this. I went through about seven years of speech therapy whenever I was a kid, and there are still certain words that. But it's not just me you. Up. Oscar does it, and uh, a lot of people. A lot of people do it. Because uh, he, cause you started doing it. I was like, dude, what's up with the figure? Well, well I, I do it. Like I, I started I doing it to a normal way. Yeah. Cause you, cause you, cause you, of course you did. Why would you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like. And I was like, no, Scott said it's a solid figure, man. <laughs> but, uh, anyway. but uh, you know, a lot of people do it, and I just wondered if, if it was something that I missed. The figure is brand new to me. There's, I mean, How where I'm figure? from. Uh, you, you, just said, you just said it. You I, said figure. I hate figure. I said figure. I was trying to use it ironically. Even, even though you were trying, you still I, said it. I'm going to just, oh, uh, I'm going to English accent of figure. Thank you, extended. <laughs> but it... I, I think there's like a lot of where I'm from. There's a lot of lazy speech, and it was it was hard for me to get over that. I took like these speech therapy classes whenever I was younger because I had a lot of trouble with my SHs and my CHs, and to this day I still slur them a little bit, and I'm working on getting it back. But there are certain words that I cannot get a good grasp on. I still slip on the word creek. Crick. Crick. Yeah, I say crick. <laughs> You say uh, top, top, top and bottom? No, no, top, bottom. I don't think I, oh, think I guess those. I know are. a lot of Pennsylvanians that are like, I want to just clean it from top to yeah. bottom. Latitude. Must be a Pittsburgh thing. 
Yeah, yeah. Philly. 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 <laughs> Philly uh, is like see, a whole different animal. A big one that I really had trouble grabbing hold of was the word just. Instead of saying just. 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 A lot of people around my area go just. Like, we're here with just in the name. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but you know what? You, oddly enough, your Southern Bell accent, perfect English. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, that's the thing. You hear the Southern accent and you immediately think ridiculous, stupid, you know, it's like. No, but it's the old Jeff Fox, Ferks were the Jeff, <laughs> Jeff Fox were the joke. You don't want to hear what we're going to do is root ro- around your brain trying to find that Danbury clot. You know, you don't want to hear that no matter how smart the guy may be. Yeah, the deep fried southern speech. Yeah, yeah, but whenever you really listen to those people, they take their time, they say each word correctly. It just has a little bit of that swang on it, you know, it's just... They actually speak really, really well down there. Put a little stank on Exactly. <laughs> this is uh, Max, Max chiming in live. <laughs> oh, God, what's he saying? Uh, yeah, we're arguing. He's, he's, somebody told him that Droid was a decent product. <laughs> 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 I love Droid. I bet you do. I do. You and your fucking Megatron Deluxe and your Droid. Just hey, so fucking, so they make Droid down the street from where I live. That's true. <laughs> They, they, they make crack down the street from where I live. That doesn't mean it's fucking good. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> yeah, this shit is awesome. Stop messing around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Look, my wife. No, go ahead. My no, wife. Don't do it. <laughs> she's a saint. She really is. Oh, God. Never makes fun of anybody. Just complete sweetheart. Except for Max. Uh, we're, we're watching uh, Breaking Bad. And she's like, oh, the sun's going to come in. And I was like, what's the big deal? Oh, he's going to come in and be like, what are you doing, Dad? <laughs> and I was like... <laughs> hey, Bobby, thanks, Holy shit, thanks, you can see the emotion in the mask. Thanks for officially ruining my Christmas. <laughs> She got Halloween, man. She won't, she's, never, she's never gonna watch this shit. She's like, you and your fucking dirty jerk offs. <laughs> <laughs> I've been saving to, to talk shit to her about that for like months now. Months. I don't know if you guys caught the little. You know, I did. I did. Oh my god. Brother Break, sister thing we got going on. Break, Breaking Bad is a, is a bad show for me to watch because I used to be a chemist. So yeah. I'm like sitting there going, I could do this. <laughs> Eight million, $8 million? Dollars? I got in front of over a couple people. <laughs> uh, I can I could totally get the BTS and the MMC. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, and you did some fulminated mercury. <laughs> <laughs> Tracy Tracy was watching it with me. She watched the first episode with me because she was talking me into it. And I'm like sitting there going, <laughs> Don't add the red phosphorus to the heated water. She's <laughs> <laughs> like, what? <laughs> they're, 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 he's gonna kill those guys. Justin and I were, weren't doing that, but we were talking about the show. He's like, you watch it? He's like, yeah, dude. We're talking about what's going to happen in the last episode. He's like, what do you think's going to happen? He's like, well, what do you think's going to happen? Something, someone said something about a uh, podcast on Sunday. He's like, can't do it. <laughs> I, I, I can't do it. I Sorry. bet meth will be involved. Yeah. <laughs> Did anybody anybody watch the last episode of Dexter with yeah um, no. the spoilers? Yeah, yeah, I didn't see it. As as Greg would say, the last episode of Dexter went the paper towel route. Yeah, and yeah. I was just like, how does that make sense? Don't say. What went, was, oh no, that's that's why I said everybody. Spoiler. Is it depressing? It's, it's uh, it it's was, pretty damn depressing. It de- it depends on what your attitude is on Dexter because I know a lot of people were just like, fuck Dexter. I can't get behind the guy who kills people. And it's mm-hmm. like he only. Lives by the code to kill people that are bad. So, so that just, guy in the bathroom when his wife died. Yeah, yeah, it's just like, but some people yeah, are. That guy was a dick. That guy yeah. really was a dick. He needed his head bashed with a fucking, you know, paper towel dispenser. Right? That's just me. You know, call me old school. My bad. Old school <laughs> paper towel dispenser. I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of people, I, I, you know, I've watched interviews with that say the show is really good for what it was back in the day, but. A lot of people back then fucking hated it because it's like you guys are rooting for a serial killer. You understand he's killing people. It doesn't matter how bad they are. I can't get behind this guy. Shh. <laughs> well, thanks. That's pointed right <laughs> at me. <laughs> I'm a little further. So that's good. I am downwind. <laughs> oh my god, it smells terrible, dude. <laughs> let me hold on. Let me let me let me get that out of the room real quick. <laughs> Oh, uh, it smells like it smells no. like the Great Depression. 
Copyright Bobby Selvis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, moving on, the next uh, topic of conversation would be the new Starscream figure that we saw. That I million do the million yeah. publishing from Japan. Yeah, Ghost Cybertron Starscream, because we can't kill him soon enough now. Right, he's, he's like Optimus. If it's Optimus always has to come back, Starscream always has to die and have a clear figure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I like the fact that it comes with a shitload of weapons. Yeah, he's got, from what I saw, was the... Uh, Fall of Cybertron Shockwave twin triple cannon arm. Yeah. And the slide on barrel. And he's also got the uh, Fall of Cybertron sideswipe long ass barrel sniper rifle. And he's a clear figure again. And I think for the Japanese to do that, oh God, I'd love it. I, I Who's making it? Million Publishing from Takara Tone. Same guys that did the Art Fire. Yeah, yeah. I like it just for the fact it's so fucking over the top. Yeah. I, I love like the massive weapons. I, I have yet to get that side swipe. And probably the only reason I would ever get that side swipe is for the fucking gun. Yeah. I don't need a jazz repaint because that jazz was a horrible figure. Which is why it stays in package at my house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, like, I, I've, I've kind of, I, got, I bought that jazz for six bucks on the, on the junkie on trade. And it was like some guy going, fuck it, you want it? I'll sell you another one for four. No, just one. Just fucking one. I don't need them all. But... That gun, every time I see that side swipe in a Walmart someplace, I'm like, I want to, I want to spend $13 for that gun. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. Where did that gun even come from? Even I know, it's a fucking massive gun. That's like Cliff Jumper's like, very first appearance gun. I was like, I'm going to blow fucking Megatron's head off with this guy. Yeah. Thing. yeah, and I love the fact that it has like that big canister on the side yeah. of it, too. Yeah, so I, I can imagine it's like it's a gas-powered, like, it's going to shoot some sort of like green trail behind yeah. it. Yeah, so a tracer. Like, Fuck yeah, that toy man. You're drunk. <laughs> but the toy doesn't look like shit. I'm gonna go get another beer. <laughs> oh man, man. I like it just for the pure. Hey, Bobby. Feel. Yeah. Come downstairs with less clothes. <laughs> you got it, pussy. <laughs> you know he's gonna do it too. Oh yeah. Oh, if, they, yeah. if he took the canister with him, that's all he'd be wearing when he came back. <laughs> he wouldn't be skull. He's got face anymore. He's got some. He's got some amazing tan lines. <laughs> Good to know. know. Kind of Barbie girl right, right across back. the back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, somebody pick another news story. We have the new images from the movie coming out again. They're going to do some more teasers, I believe. I'd like to show my enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> just some more general news topics. Yeah. Like, it's just basically, hey... There you go. Yeah. It's going to be a movie. Yeah. It's going to make a lot of money. Yeah. You know, and here's a lot of people complain about that, but that those movies are why you're getting your generations figures. That is true. Yeah. <laughs> and I enjoy seeing the movies. Can we go play some basketball, Bobby? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm gonna look I can see your religion. Be careful there. <laughs> This is just a regular show. Come on, us. Yeah, I, I totally wish we could wait to the beer, capture her look off the beer. as she came down the stairs. And that was pretty priceless. <laughs> I saw my pants. And then I was like, hey, you want me to open that beer for you? Oh my god! Did I not open it? Ah, oh, so far. <laughs> Here, give it, give it to me. Just hold it for her. Hand it to me. You're gonna have to hand it to me. You can't use the force. Come here, come here, come here. Okay, open, it, okay. open it right now. You're going to talk about more Hasbro nonsense. Ah, oh, Jesus. He's going to come back without the jacket and shirt. Are those like, autumn spice beer or something? <laughs> Bobby's very I'm drunk. He sure just crawled up orange. the steps. <laughs> After <laughs> falling up the steps. I didn't want to say fine. This is why it was at his house. <laughs> so he could get home safe. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are talking about Hasbro. I'm just going to stand there looking at my toys farting in your direction. <laughs> Uh, you talk about Hasbro, look at this beautiful figure. It's Masterpiece no. Soundwave. <laughs> Takara! <laughs> Takara! <laughs> oh, Adam. News yes. stories. Anything? I'm looking it up right now, man. Alrighty. Because honestly, I'm out of blank. It's like whenever somebody goes, name the last ten songs you listen to. You or, or better yet, uh, or better yet, what are uh, some of the Rescue good? Bot figures, two-pack, wave two, found in U.S. retail stores. Couldn't give two shits. Actually, <laughs> Actually, they're, they're GT actually, Maximus in hand. GT Maximus? Oh, from uh, an Alltech? No, the, uh, what's that called? 
Yeah. Well, it's at the Alternate Alternate Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, that is Benalte. Alternate E here, Benalte there. I thought it was... We never got him here. Yeah, isn't Benalte what they call alternators here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. For us, it's alternators, but they're small... They're small detail cards here. I pity you right now. Just the look on your face is like... What have I done? Oh, this is so tame. You have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is the I know I'm gonna be on the internet shit. So <laughs> I'm just trying to look at Bobby because of what he came down with last time. Mm -hmm. But now yeah. I notice he has jeans on. Shot. I think. You don't notice yeah. the <laughs> you notice four cameras that are set up around the room? Oh, we got your reaction at some angle sooner or later. <laughs> So D, yeah, DT Maximus is another like one of those re-releases of one of the uh, sports cars with all the logos, and it comes with like a, a little racing figurine girl. Let's see. Oh, dude, so, your elbow totally got on the lip of my whatever. Oh, your that's beard, your beard totally got on the lip of my elbow. <laughs> that's not creepy at all, as she's like humping his shoulder. Is he? It's not. <laughs> now Bobby's interested. Yeah, now that now that. Right. Dude, the Japanese are into some wild shit, man. Like skull masks. <laughs> See, that's what you're getting now. If if this was just an audio podcast, you would have not seen that. See, like Bobby's really Bobby's really into say Steve. <laughs> <laughs> you would not be surprised. <laughs> now we've had a good time tonight. Anybody uh, listening that's long time listener to the show. We finally got together. We broke bread together. Yeah, we've been we've been actual bread. Yeah, that actual he made bread yeah. that he made, which yeah. is actually really fucking good bread. And his wife made some incredible lasagna. And we toasted, and it was a magical moment. And we and we talked shit about people you would not believe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just You're like, not. oh god, we're such terrible people. We are. I mean, you <laughs> might like us somehow for what we do here, but we do not talk nice about anyone. No, we don't. No. We're sorry. No, no, we're not. Except for Mantis, who does our Twitter. Actually, yes, yeah. we like Dan. He's about the only exception to the rule. Yeah. Um, more Creos, Wave 4 came out. So that's more of Chase's thing. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Chase, man. Chase, Chase getting bad is too late. <laughs> <laughs> but, but this is what's interesting. We're actually getting an Alpha Trion Creo. Really? Alpha Trion as a creative. And Slipstream. Uh, see, here's the thing. I think we're getting all these characters because, really, at this point, with Creons, all it takes is just, like, a new coat of paint. That's true. Yeah. But, you know what? I, I'm kind of really pleased with how they do Creos now. It's it's basically, I've never seen this figure for less than $300. This is sometimes, like, a Japanese exclusive figure. I really like Creos. I'm, I'm sorry, I do. But no, it's Okay. Everybody has their own thing. If you like Rescue Box, you like Rescue Box. It's just not for me. The, yeah, We're everybody's amazing. giggling. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, if you like Rescue Box, just unsubscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's like my number three most viewed video. Just so you know. <laughs> right behind Cyberfire Bumblebee, half a million views. I get, this is just me being prejudiced here. Uh, the, the same people that kind of like the rescue box, I picture them also being the bronies. Mm. Like, there's there, and there's a fine line from rescue bot to brony. And it's not... Let's, let's, not, let's not mix things here. <laughs> <laughs> One has an incredibly strong fan base. One is a spin-off of a fan base. Yeah, yeah. Uh, That's true. Yeah. <laughs> so in on that. <laughs> What's creepy? The brony thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're not going to get any argument from me. <laughs> it's... Back when I was little, I loved my little yeah. brony, and she was not, like, trying to be slutty and stuff. Like, she was in the whole days. Well, then, it's not for me. I'm for you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> in that point, right. The, uh, oh, oh, wait, we were talking, you said something about, like, your uh, your masterpieces came in on order, right? Over at HLJ? Probably, yeah. 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 So we're going to get the, uh, mas the new masterpieces in, too. Mm-hmm. We're gonna get Prowl and Blue Streak and yeah, I don't know can't wait. Blue Streak. He hasn't hit their HLJ has their own because <coughs> he's got some different shit going on with them, right? Like mold wise. Uh no. Uh, Are you sure? For the most part, no. Blue Streak. I know for the most not. part. Yeah, no, he shouldn't be. His head is a little different. That's all. But I think that's I think that's why he's gonna be later. Maybe. 
I just shit my. Uh, I can't wait for yeah. those. I seriously can't wait. Oh, they're gonna be awesome. They they look to be the best. All aboard boys. the masterpiece train. I'm God. getting my first masterpiece. Come on. I'm getting it. That G2 sideswipe, kind of. Well, that G2 sideswipe is a must. Yeah, because it's its own figure. It is. Yeah. It's so it's so beautiful the way they just inverted it and said, you know what? That's not enough. Let's give them big ass arm weapons. Let's give them new details. Let's do it all. And the first ever masterpiece G2 figure. How can you resist that? Yeah, yeah, it's it's not even so much that it's G2. It's it's its own thing. It's I can look at black sideswipe. I can take like a classic sideswipe, paint it black myself, but it's the massive guns, it's the scowl on his face that some people seem to hate, I like. It's the it's the wheels on it the was the 90s. everything was scowling. Yeah, yeah. Because Bad, you know, exactly. Exactly. And that incontinence. And Wildcats came here to test that. <laughs> <laughs> Everything drawn by Rob Wildcats. Right Wildcats. Right 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 but you got incredible powers. Yeah, that's about <laughs> Does anybody remember that? I do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ashamed to say I do. Oh, and like two that, episodes. <laughs> like two episodes, they got pulled. <laughs> Couldn't go up against X Men. They were like, <laughs> Wild. Yeah. Yeah. They were like, I got Wolverine. I got Beast. Mm, I got Spartan. <laughs> <laughs> Wild C period, A period, T period, S period. Covert action teams. Mm -hmm. What? Teams. What is the S? <laughs> <laughs> Something expansion. I'm, I'm even going further back than that, though, because I remember SWAT Cats. SWAT Cats was badass. Yeah, SWAT Cats was... Do you know a lot of the Aqua Teen Hunger Force backgrounds are actually old SWAT Cats backgrounds? Are they really? Yeah, like Dr. Weird's Castle is from SWAT Cats. Oh, wow, what is that from? I, I can't even remember, like... Is it the Junkyard? No, no, it's not the Junkyard. It's, I think it was just this one thing that they threw up in the SWAT Cats, and somebody's gonna go, No, long whore, you tard. <laughs> <laughs> That's not from SWAT Cats, it's from the Eclipse. Pornographic, <laughs> pornographic version of SWAT Cats, Twat Cats. And just, <laughs> but it's just. I didn't know that, and I fucking love it. It's gotta be a pussy cats. joke in there, so. Yeah, yeah it's that. Dude, SWAT Cats was badass back in the day. I mean, you're talking about, like, two. Two cats, two cats who were jet planes. Two cats who were engineers who decided we're gonna fight crime with our own jet plane and, like, James Bond taser blows. It was, and they fought crystal yeah. monsters. Yeah. I was like, how does this shit work and be so good? It, it, was, it was a weird little thing. I, oh, hello. Get upstairs. Yes, sir. Oh, now you see <laughs> <laughs> Go. Oh, they love sound jacket. Nobody oh. likes you. <laughs> What's it? It's a skull face monster that sounds like Bobby talks to me. <laughs> <laughs> But, no, the Masterpiece, I, I'm kind of torn whether I want to actually get the Masterpiece or if I just want to wait for the knockoff, because every side swipe yeah. so far has been, you've had knockoff Red Alert, knockoff Tiger Tracks. I'm thinking about getting the knockoff uh, Tiger Tracks. Dude, yeah. Tiger, yeah, I love my Tiger Tracks. Yeah. Dude, just for the fact it comes in that shiny metallic box, oh my god. You got the knockoff? No, I got the original. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm gonna get but, I mean, the official, it's, it's so worth it. I don't even know who the fuck that is, dude. Tiger Tracks was one Yellow of those... Yellow Sideswipe, I guess. He was one of those characters that was in Japan but never released as a character. Exactly. Actually. And he was basically someone they said, hey, we got our own exclusive character. And they released him through uh, eHobby. Mm -hmm. And they later released him as a e or, uh, No, I think it was eHobby in Japan. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. saying. It's like $80 it's is a lot of money to spend on a character where I have no idea who the fuck he is. That's all right. That's, I do that daily. I'll tell you what. Well, yeah, but I don't have Xavier money, man. <laughs> Uh, Reaper Labels put out a beautiful kit that if you got like an extra classic side swipe and an extra classics uh, Sunstreaker, swap the heads on them, and it was like this character Patriot, and you could. I like him already. Yeah. Shout out to a boot Justin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's Patriot, and then they had Tiger Tracks, but it wasn't just yellow Sunstreaker. It was these beautiful tiger designs and stripes that went on the yellow figure. It was. Yeah, I think they're still available up there. Plus, mm -hmm. imagine like the street cred you would get if you just had masterpiece tiger tracks. That's like, true. Like people look at your shelf and go, "Fucking nerd, dork, geek." Is tiger that fucking tiger tracks? tracks? 
<laughs> all right, all right, you can come. Never mind. Do they make yeah. one in Leopard? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were a fucking geek, but shit. Tiger tracks. I, I, just, I know. Excuse me while I rip off my clothes and you must put your seat in me <laughs> now. <laughs> you call it tiger tracks, I call it a pussy ring. <laughs> As he says that right in front of his wife. <laughs> she calls it the same. <laughs> uh, so Masterpiece is, it looks all good in the hood. No. I'm excited for actually everything being They're going to be awesome. Plus, be awesome. that is the one thing... Takara Hasbro is the one thing that you do properly. Well, the one thing that it's also the thing I, I get excited for, not just because of the releases, but also for like the collector's coins, because I, I actually do have coin collections. Yeah. That's another thing. Another I pussy made. Yeah. There you go. Well, it's just like, hey, coin called Headmaster, what do you think? <laughs> You're like, hey, you want to see my sweet coins? <laughs> I got a metallic case for this bitch. <laughs> Take me I got out. one of those sweet blue cases. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it makes it sound when you open it. You remember those? The little blue books? Oh my god. This is what I brought for show and tell. Yeah, real cool, Steve. And it's a Steve in the house. It's like, god damn, I hate Steve show and tell day. <laughs> oh, this brings in the book you read last <laughs> night. <laughs> You no still offense. remember his last name? Oh, no, yes. Yes. No big yes. No big Jack M. Tried so to he's still a genius, right, Scott? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jack, Jack had a bad life because a cop actually beat his father into a coma. And a criminal had a coma. <laughs> and then Jack, upset that his father's in this coma, honestly pours gasoline all over himself and lights himself on fire. So he was a Buddhist. Yeah, Buddhist. <laughs> and so Jack. God help me, I always felt bad for Jack, because it was just, he, he had, it wasn't his fault, he was a kid, he had some rough knocks in his life. But for show and tell one day, Jack brings in Crasher, the GoBot Crasher, right? And he's there, oh, this is my GoBot, he's, you know, he's this black uh, race car, uh, he transforms into this robot, you can move his arms. The whole time he's going, it's a woman, you bastard! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You should have died in the fire! <laughs> he's, like, he's like that early like YouTube reviewer. Oh, you have two points of articulation. Scott <laughs> really just that. became what he hates. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't comment on the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing. I was fucking 11. I have grown slightly past that. <laughs> Not very much. If the the conversation that we had, but that's the behavior you have whenever you're eleven. It's a woman. I wanted to stand up and point and accuse him right in the class. <laughs> <A> stupid <laughs> scarred freak. <laughs> I hope your dad never dies. <laughs> that's why your dad was like candle wax in. <laughs> oh, I hope he's not watching too much. Oh, he's a big fan, didn't you yeah. know? Yeah. Why is the AC up so high in your house? <laughs> What do you mean your skin always tingles? <laughs> I, I actually went to Jack's place after we graduated. This is about two years after we graduated. And he turned into one of those guys who whenever he'd watch a movie, he'd put the subtitles on and read along. Like, read the dialogue along with no. the movie. Oh. And it was like, we were watching True Lies. And he's like, doing like, as he's going by. Because that's the movie where the dialogue really counts. Yeah, exactly. And he's like, you <laughs> fired. <laughs> And he's doing it exactly like that. Like, whenever Schwarzenegger comes on, he's just going, You're fired. And then Jamie Lee Chris, I'll dance for you. It's like a couple of voices. So is he, like, teaching himself how to speak again? I don't think it was, I don't think it was that, because Jack could speak perfectly normally. He could speak better than I could at this point. You know, and it was, it was just one of those deals where, why are you, like, I, I wasn't the person I am now. I was a little, a little bit more withdrawn, but... Like, that little part of me that I am now wanted to grab and go, Why are you doing this? You're ruining this horrible movie! <laughs> hey, this is good. <laughs> awesome. Oh, I don't know how we got here. Let's just, watch, let's just watch 
Talladega Nights. <laughs> <laughs> never. Yeah, never, ever. never. The answer is never. <laughs> so, oh, okay. Uh, new buy shot launches. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> Chase. <laughs> Shout out to Tennessee. <laughs> Uh, Poor Justin just, sitting over here going, but I like Bioshocks. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a Bioshocks guy? I had the first, like, a little bit, and then once they introduced spin and flip and all that, they were done. I, uh, I, I still dig the launches. I think that's a very cool accessory, because me being the trailer guy, if anything TF related comes out with a trailer, it's like, I'm there. Because I, I still, to this day, dig trailer accessories, so they actually got one for what looks like, I want to say... Ultra Magnus and one of the Beast Hunter like Predi Predacons. Okay, I can do Ultra Magnus. Yeah, I can do that. I bought Sentinel Prime. When I got he the came out. I got the Stunicon set, and even half of them I don't even fucking recognize. Look in the back, I'm like, who the hell's Papa Wheelie? <laughs> See, and, and that's the thing is, I like the bot <laughs> mascot of Papa Jaws. <laughs> when the bot shots first came out, and they were, you know, like you had like a little tiny Jazz. I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. Right, and then they're yeah, like, yeah. you know, whatever. It's like Wild Rider. I'm like. That's not really Wild Rider, that's right. just Jazz with a red face, you know? <laughs> so. Did you put a red face on the black guy? <laughs> so, you know, I still dig trailers. I'll probably get them as soon as they come out, because that's still my thing. That's, that's, one of my, that's one of my things. I've never even opened Sentinel Prod. He's still in the fucking guard board. Do you? Yeah. I so mean, that's, he's got mine. So, so that's like one of a thousand toys. That's still sealed. I actually bought that drunk. I was outside no, I, with my wife on the patio, and I was like, I need, I need all the different stuff. So what? Fuck, what? fuck it. I need oh. all of them. Any different kinds of it? You got a problem, man? He's like, am I talking to you or the mask? <laughs> this mask I, loves me! No, I usually only put it on there and love me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I haven't made love since tonight. There's, there's two bones in this scenario. <laughs> Bye. Bye shots. Oh, next news bit. Just uh, just another image of the uh, TF4 bus, red and black, something on the car. Yeah. It I'm might not even be official. It's just something they put on their clock. Yeah, cars. yeah. Oh, official. Because that's what matters. Is it official? Well, it's it's, it's official. <laughs> it's gotta be official. Sweetness. Make sure it's official. Sweetness. He likes it when you tweak a nipple. I do. Yeah. Oh, good God. Counterclockwise. <laughs> Seriously, I'm so close. His legs are weak. You need to grab both nipples, twist them Dude. one clockwise while the other one counterclockwise. I'm blow your goddamn mind. And yeah. then you have to scream, come in Tokyo. Yes. It's just... A radio free Tokyo, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> radio free Tokyo. Tokyo, Tron. <laughs> but it's not... Yeah, it's just showing something on the clapperboard that they use in between shots, so it might not even be one of the official bots. Yeah, it's... It, it's just something they slap on. Who cares? I, I remember right before the first movie came out, there was actually this uh, test footage that they did of the movie, and the transformation was so G1, it was, it was incredible. Oh, is it a white Optimus Prime? Uh, not the white Optimus Prime. That one, was, that one was a fan mode thing. This one was this guy with long hair... He gets out of a car, and the car just sort of like, the wheels flip out, become arms. The back of the truck flips out like wind charger, like the G1 wind mm -hmm. charger, and it sort of stands up, and he's just there going, whoa, like that. There wasn't even any sound to it at all. And that was one of those things. It was kind of like the Dinobots, whenever, whenever that picture of what looks like movie uh, Snarl came out, where it looked like... It was this picture, and I saw it. I didn't save it. I should have. It kind of looked like a cross between a Volkswagen and a Stegosaur. That's the best way I can put it. And then that shit got taken down about an hour later. But it was like that. I, I saw this video. It was just this real quick thing. No sound. Clapboard at the end. Done. I have seen that white G1 Optimus, though. I like that design. I mm -hmm. really do. Um, there's, also, there's also a really good computer animation out there. Once again, I think it's a fan mode, but it's of a train transforming into an Optimus Prime type character. It's almost like a Night Morpher. Isn't a white Optimus just Ultra Magnus? Yeah, kind of, kind of. Yeah, I don't know anymore <laughs> because it, Ultra Magnus. Maybe it's Minimus Ambus. There you go, a little little spoiler action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Must be that I haven't read issue nineteen through twenty. Yeah. Oh, God, 20. <laughs> that's about that's about it, really, except for like. There's going to be Generations Double Dealer, which is this really a blue Blitzwing? Yeah. 
Me that's neither. Bad one. Yeah, that's. I hope they fix the hit on that one at least. So dumb. I gotta agree with him on this one. If you're gonna do double deer, it needs to be a missile carrier and then an eagle. Yeah. Yeah, it's. Well, maybe they'll put like eagle wing decals on it. I think I think the closest thing that they we're gonna get to eagles on that is that they put a shark mouth on the front <laughs> of the plane. Uh, animal! Animals! Animals yeah, everywhere! Yeah. Oh, wait. Like a phoenix from the asses. Ashes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I think I think that's the best way to wait for it. Is just, they'll put it out, I'll keep it in box, and then when like, rep our label says, we got decals for it, or someone third parties a missile add-on, something to make it look a little better. But that's about it. I, mean, <clears throat> I think the only way to save that is to scrap that and wait for the third party. Yeah. Or you know what? The G1. Yeah. The G1 yeah. had a brilliant knockoff. Yeah. The, the knockoff was twice the size. I've got it. I have yeah, it. Yeah, you have it. And it's actually one of like the best knockoffs ever because it holds together. Yeah. Holds together. The arm on mine did break, so I had to glue that back. But, I mean, it's fine. Comes with both Power Master engines. It's... It's a damn good knockoff. It was, it was really nice. They're making a smaller knockoff now. No, uh, it's got it's got to be that. that. It's it's one of those deals where I look at Double Dealer and the knockoff is like almost too huge. You know, but <laughs> we're men. There's never too huge. Yeah, it's uh, I guess. Right, so it I drive a smart car, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> <clears throat> Mostly it's, because your head's only like a foot and a half from the back of the car. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, to say, be quite honest, sometimes I want to die. So. <laughs> I got a successful podcast, but fuck, man, there it is. <laughs> you have no idea, man. You have no idea. But is that pretty much it? For That's the pretty much it. Um, it's like so. The major news is that. Overlord, fucking Overlord. Overlord is is we GMC predicted the mastermind. Let's not even call it GMC. You did this. It was you. You know what I am. I'm humble. I'm humble. You are. I'm so humble. The mask is humble anyway. So humble. (laughs) Whatever. I don't want to like. But 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 G- GMC GMC said that mastermind is gonna fucking copy anybody. Well, not copy, but. Copy. Trying to fucking shut down the game on anybody that they feel like might be a fucking plausible threat, and it's proving true time and time again. And if they make a superior product, then fuck them. I'm with GNC or whatever vitamins. Yeah, like vitamins should win. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, I like health and shit. Now that Bobby says GMC, I'm waiting for them to put out the superior podcast. <laughs> <laughs> well, in vitamin time, it probably, it, probably, it probably would be better. They like fucking put out pictures of like. This More stuff while they're talking about it. <laughs> yeah. They're like, go look it up in the lanes, you assholes. But they won't get together. No. Well, maybe they will. Maybe yeah. they'll just be, like, clones. Maybe. Like questions. Justin, what do we got for questions? Well, we have one of the many Baldwin brothers. Actually, family. do we have any uh, reinforcements? I got... I, I was able to score a uh, first edition Starscream and Bumblebee for seven bucks a piece. That's serious. Tell her I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, I was able to score them for oh, seven bucks a piece, you. and I like them. You know, the first edition toys. I wish all the prize toys would have been like that. Like, like the YouTube video if you think iOS seven is a piece of shit. <laughs> uh, reinforcements. Reinforcements. Uh, like I said, <laughs> the uh, the first edition uh, Starscream, first edition Bumblebee, good solid figures. I like them. I like them. I got another knockoff uh, grounding to add to my collection. So uh, which I tried to shoot Xavier in the face with, but it failed. Yeah. <laughs> Justin successfully fisted me with that thing. God damn it. Well, because it has a little fist, get it? Yeah, no, that's what I was trying to do. I got four Kabaya limbs from Justin. And that's pretty much it for me. I got a uh, G1 run amok, run about, twin twist. And bombers, and I got, I got runabout, run amok, twin twist, drag strip, and another twin twist, complete, for seven bucks. I am not surprised. And I am 
selling half of them to Greg for Mercy. Shout out to GFM. Ohio! Uh, so did, did you beat Xavier this week? Is that what happened? For half. Well, he hasn't said his yet, so here it comes. I'm going to push the back of my head, I'll grab a handful of shit. And, <laughs> um, so anyway, selling them for half, so I got a runabout, run them up, and uh, I think it's t- whatever the fuck, twin twist for for three hours and fifty cents, pretty much. There, there have been times in my life, whenever I, in order to get a couple of toys that I want, I've had to buy a lot. You know, not a lot, as in a great amount. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but a lot is in like, oh, look here on eBay. Here, oh, thank you. That doesn't look like a tongue. It looks like a small dick coming out of your mouth. <laughs> Just what I was going for. <laughs> Every time. Every time, like, in order to get, okay, this, this, like, eBay auction has five figures in it that I want, in order to get that, there will be a twin twist and a top spin. <laughs> it's so that. true. I don't know it's what so the fuck happened. Like, every other G1 figure is rare. Rare as hell. But for some reason, like, I don't know, maybe during summer vacation, Hasbro left those machines run. <laughs> so, what the fuck are we going to do with all these? You know, it's kind of like how they got so many they actually turned them into the, the jump stars for the Marvel movies. Yeah. And you got like Hulk and Wolverine. And 30 years later and they're not done selling those. That's right. It's like Spider-Man and the lizard still got, you know, the twin twist yeah. bodies. You're right. <laughs> I am, um, I think if I started a blog, I'm going to get more information about it because I lost a whole bunch of G1 shit and I'm trying to reassemble it. So... I'll get more information about it as we go. What's the what he doesn't need? Top spin and twin points. <laughs> Done. Done. What he needs is... Pennies on the dollar. What he needs is salt and seed. Those are back and you... Yeah, yeah and they pop out the blue and white. I had here. those. Both of those. Yeah, of course you did. Yeah. Everyone did. Yeah. Even kids that couldn't stand Transformers ended up with those. I, I want to say my grandmother bought me that at 7-Eleven. Really? Yeah. Dude, nobody gives a fuck about your grandmother. Hey, you stop hey. bringing that bitch up. And <laughs> <laughs> My grandmother's off and it's like, I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get it, Xavier? Let it happen. Right, Let it happen. Sorry, he already went. Uh, no, okay. He went before you. You got four things. You beat him, dick fuck. God. <laughs> trying to share in your... Suck it. Trying to share in your hey, victory. That's, that's what happened. That was, that, was, that was the agreement, Xavier, to yeah. suck it. Poor guy had an $800 plane ticket to come out to see you. Suck it. <laughs> he comes out here, oh, you suck, Xavier. You know, I could win, too, if I repeated my list three times. <laughs> so I got run about, run about. <laughs> Questions? We got three of them. Ooh. Ooh. The first one is from uh, Robo Rob Springer, who says, are you ready for some football? Calvin Johnson, Good Detroit one. Lions, Megatron. Fucking care less. No. Yeah. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I thought that was a basketball shirt. <laughs> no football. Colin <laughs> Kaepernick, San Francisco 49ers. I thought it was like a javelin shirt. Special education javelin. basketball. <laughs> Wait, does yeah. Robo Rob Springer mean British football? I don't know, he doesn't specify. He, that's probably why he doesn't give a fuck. Uh, hey, does Robo Rob Springer, he runs the Q&A on that. Yeah, uh, Radio uh, Free Cybertron. Do we ask him a question? I wonder if we, we should. Ask we this, should. Do we we really ask, should. Does he ask us questions in the attempt? Are, are we being like awkward friends? We should really ask him a question. Yeah. Robo Rob Springer, what kind of question do you want us to ask you? Get back to us. If you had a drink, I'd touch you. In question <laughs> form, if you will. I'm just saying. Yeah. Uh, Otherwise, you'll lose the points whenever Alex Herbeck kicks in. <laughs> uh, we got one of the Baldwin brothers. I don't know if that's true, but Matthew Baldwin. I like Matthew Baldwin, S. by the way. I think he he was great at Top Gun. <laughs> I think he says I think he says some good shit on the, on the good continue. Let's see if this one's as good. He says hello once again, great Joe. I have two questions. One, if your house is on fire, and I hope it never happens to anyone ever. I'll call Bobby. It'll be fine. <laughs> I want my shit to burn to the ground for the insurance money. <laughs> what would be the one transformer you'd grab? I know exactly what I'd, I'd go for. Go ahead, guys. I have a Mr. Hard hat too. Oh, hell yeah. yeah, yeah right. your was, that, was that your uh, guess? I didn't hear him. Mr. Hard hat. Yeah. 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 No, exactly. that's actually five toys. So that's, that's a little bit of cheese. Six. Uh, six. 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 Yeah, six. But I mean, Mr. Mr. It, it does. It really does. In yeah. fact, it holds his heart. Yes, it does. Uh, it's, it's at, that's why we can't kill him. It's like the end of the third Pirates of the Caribbean movie. <laughs> My heart's in Mr. Hardhat for ten years. 
I can't stop collecting Transformers for 10 years, and then my father will take over for me when my father's dead. What about you, Justin? T2. Probably Hexagon. It's funny you say that, because that's, that's in my top tier. Yeah, I'd probably grab my City Commander Ultra Magnus. How easy would that be to grab amongst your collection of shit? Pretty he, easy. He'd come outside with just the head. I mean, just <laughs> yeah. the armor would fall off and he'd have just the head. That would be... <laughs> <laughs> that would be so easy to replace, though, too. You're right. I, you know, I'd, probably, I'd probably take that custom you gave me then. The, uh, the, the Toxic Tron. Not to thank be sentimental. Oh, thank you. Sentimental. Thank you. Thank you. My heart's actually in that thing. Cool. Cool. Because... Can't once it. once again, once again, I can always make you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let that shit burn then. Yeah, yeah, seriously. I, I I would grab the big screen. There you go. There you go. You could maybe flip it over and put a whole lot more transformers on top exactly. of it. I would let the computer out. burn because I don't want the government finding that shit. Of course, of course not. No, so that would have to burn for sure. Like all the Yowie that Pete sent us over right. the ages. All the one fucking Justin found. I don't even want to know what Justin found. Oh, let me, let me let me describe it in great okay. detail for you. Uh, <laughs> Mega, Megatron leaning back sensually. Okay. And Soundwave without a mouth plate with a big old tongue licking his nipples. You know, I always forget about that picture. I have a feeling that that's like Xavier's background or something. He's just at home looking at I see Megatron. that shit when I close my eyes. <laughs> This is like, hey guys, look what I found. I was like, oh, oh what did Justin find? Because it's tattooed to the inside of my eyelids. <laughs> It's like, I never expected that from Justin. <laughs> what do you think is on the other side of, the, of uh, Bobby's mask here? <laughs> These are eye holes. He's looking at Yowie. It's like the Iron Man mask. He's getting fed all this data. <laughs> just pouring. Just pouring. screens. <laughs> Hexatron. <laughs> Hercules. I've been buying all this shit while you guys have been talking. <laughs> How about you, Adam? What would you grab? Hmm. Uh, am I? I don't know. 40k shit, but the transformer shit burned. <laughs> you had to grab one though. Uh, just say, just say, a uh, giant fire. How do you a match piece Grimlock, man? Mm. There you go. That's a good answer. 140. I heard Zen is bringing that no. this year. I'll grab it. <laughs> man, man, she is gonna be so upset. I, I can't find her. I can't find her for hey, being hey, affordable. Hey, hey, Uncle Adam, Uncle Adam, help out. Yeah. Keep, keep your eyes on Sir Toys. There are rumors that that sucker is gonna be knocked yeah, off pretty no. soon. Your daughter doesn't know the difference between a knockoff. Yeah, that's fine. I'm oh, okay she with probably would. Yeah, why? She, yeah. Probably yeah. Why is this gray a different tone? <laughs> why, why is this, this is not a good one. Why, why, does, why does the box say Binlock? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's this good. is not a Japanese letter. This doesn't mean Grimlock. <laughs> Grimlock. This is Grimace Lock. <laughs> The dino, <laughs> the, McDonald's character on. <laughs> the dino arms are one millimeter shorter on this one yeah. than the original math piece. Straight away, man. Oh, man. Daddy, how come the eyes don't change colors when I rotate his head? Yep. Yep. Wait, why are the eyes red? So, yeah, blue or, blue or red for your Grimlock? For me, blue. Oh, well, yeah, of course. I'm talking to you. Uh, I don't have a masterpiece Grimlock. Oh. Uh, but I think if I did, I'd probably blue. Blue eyes. It doesn't, it doesn't matter to me either way. Really. Yeah. It's kind of it's kind of like that whole debate we had a couple of weeks ago where it's like Soundwave's visor, yellow or red. It's just like what yeah. fucking ever. Which the one red, comes with more tapes? The red looks better. See, for me, for me, I would do yellow if I had masterpiece sound. Better, I, but I, I got I got the red one. My daughter's got the yellow one. I would never tell her, but her yellow one looks like shit compared to mine. <laughs> Winner masterpiece figure. See, here's the thing. <laughs> but this goes back to what we were talking about before. With uh, Rumble is blue, Frenzy is red, mm -hmm. uh, Rumble is red to me, Frenzy is blue. Sure. Why? Because I was introduced to the toys first. Mm -hmm. And for me, Soundwave's eyes will be yellow because that's the way it is on the mm -hmm. toy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's like in every other rendition is red. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of like an alternate universe. It's like, what universe am I in? You have yellow eyes. I saw today... If I may throw in a quick look at what I found. You, you're just saying that alternate universe. Somebody made Shattered Glass Overlord. Oh. And it was just Santa. <laughs> they turned Overlord into Santa. He was red and white. And he was like ambassador of peace. And he's like <laughs> giving like gadgets and low level upgrades to all the good protoforms on Cybertron. That's and nice. then Optimus Prime killed him. <laughs> and, and But he still brings joy to Optimus Prime whenever he sees his carcass hanging on the wall. And his two power masters continue on. <laughs> no. Shattered glass overlord, they didn't say it. 
but I'm hoping his his power masters are elves. <laughs> I thought that was what it would be too. Yeah, they can't yeah. be ornaments. Exactly. That, exactly. That would be something. But yeah, he <laughs> just oh, it's a, even the, the tech spec was hilarious. It was even you know even more impressive than his two modes of tank and jet. Is his ability to spread joy amongst Cybertronian children. <laughs> so, little look you and I found. Anyway, next uh, question. There's technically four questions. Oh, The last okay. one's just for you, I guess. Uh, okay, so question two that uh, Matthew Baldwin asks is, let's muster up the Virginia here, what would y'all think of a crossover <laughs> movie with Transformers? G.I. Joe or maybe the Avengers like in the comics? What would anyone on the panel like to see... Crossover with Transformers. You have a couch. I would. I would. Yeah. I would much rather see a Transformers movie done right first before we start crossing over. You're never gonna see it though. It's kind of like Freddy versus Jason. That shit before the crossovers was shit. Like I can't read that. There's some good Nightmare on Streets before the crossovers. I mean, Jason movies are just atrocious. All of them. Pretty no, no, the, the Jason. First, the, the Jason dies ones. or whatever. You know, number nine or eight was. No, Jason, I love Jason, was, Jason in Outer Space. Jason, Jason in Outer Manhattan. Space, though. <laughs> Friday the 13th Part Yeah, 10. that was Manhattan. The one after yeah. Manhattan. That you was know, pretty decent. Yeah, that one wasn't bad. That, I, it was kind of weird, though, because it had an actor from the Friday the 13th TV series playing a different character. See, that shit's weird to me. Yeah, yeah. It, it was odd seeing that character. That's bonus information. Y- yeah. It's, <laughs> it is but awesome. no, I mean, he wasn't like playing the same character. It's weird seeing that actor... And Friday the 13th, the TV series, should not have been named Friday the 13th, the TV series, because it had nothing to nothing do, with, to do with it. Yeah, not a damn thing. It was a good TV series, don't get me yeah. wrong. But week after week, it was kind of like Warehouse 13. Is that the one everybody started? was waiting for Jason to show up? Yeah, right? Is that the one that was in, they were in the uh, cafe, like stuck in the cafe? No, it was, uh, they owned they owned an antique uh, oh, that's right. antiques dealership. Yeah. Their uncle had made a deal with the devil. These two people come in. They take over the antique dealership. This guy comes in, tells them what their uncle did, and they have to go get all these cursed antiques mm-hmm. and bring them back in. And I just, every week, I went, Fuck, I hope it's the hockey mask this week. <laughs> no, I hope it's the cursed hockey mask this week, because obviously that's what it's in. It's the cursed hockey mask. And it's got to be this week. got to be the... Never was... Uh, just like the last episode should have been a fucking hockey mask. I was, I was fucking. It was the last episode. If they were going to do a crossover with Transformers, so far of the comics that I've read, I would definitely not like to see the Avengers. I thought that comic was shit. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. I, I actually. Giant I, Iron Man. That was stupid. But I would like to see if they did the Transformers G.I. Joe crossover, I would like them to do like Jay Lee did. Um,. In like the forties or whatever during World War Two times, like I actually thought that was cool and it made yeah. sense. And I, I'm a big Jay Lee fan anyway. I, I love his use of like shadows and blacks and all that. Like I, I think he's fucking pretty phenomenal. But uh, I I like you know how they were able to incorporate all the military vehicles and the Combaticons and make, uh, and uh, it all just works. It works in that setting, and I don't really think it works in today's technological setting. I think I think the Transformers are just way too big, like to team up with someone. They can't get a GI Joe movie right. No, period. <laughs> and they can't get a Transformer movie right. So they might as well work on getting those two right first before they try to. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, no, I'm with you. If you if you like just want to focus on one group and then make the Transformers the minor thing about it and not say it's Transformers, that would work fucking great. Like <clears throat> like the 40k set over there. It's like, what if one side had Transformers, but you don't say it's Transformers, but, you know, your your campaign has the movie, the, 40 war, the 40K Warhammer movie with these special guest stars or some shit like mm-hmm. that, right? And it's the Transformers, you just don't say them by name, you don't focus on them. I think that's the only way it could possibly work, because they're just too big of, like, they take up too much room, as it were, for, like, storytelling. It's just like, if it was set somewhere way, way different... You don't even mention Transformers. I thought this new movie was supposed to be in space. Was that original? It's supposed movie? to be in space, but the thing is, it's like it's still focusing on. It's a it's a tie-in to Jason and Leprechaun. <laughs> <laughs> but I I'm think the Leprechaun. <laughs> I, I really think that's the only way to do it is to, and it's impossible in Hollywood nowadays. But I think the only true way to do it is to be subtle. You say you're going to do a franchise crossover. You don't mention the Transformers at all. You just 
you have them in there as a special effect, and then you keep you keep the exposure to a minimum. <laughs> Failing that, my backup plan: Transformers versus Barbie. That's, that's Mattel and Hasbro. It's not going to happen. That's going to mm-hmm. happen. There's just so much rich, richness in that mythology of Transformers. Like, I thought you were going to say Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> There's just so much richness, and it's so untapped. I I think that if if you want to make a good Transformers film, I think you need to start tapping the IDW stuff. They're good. Yeah. Roche. Roach. Yeah. Nick Roach. Nick Roche. Roche. Yeah. He does. He does. My God. He does. He gets it. He gets. He gets it. He gets Roberts. He yeah. does fucking like Game of Thrones style. It's like, hey, this character is not going to stick around. Yeah. They're going to be gone soon. James Roberts makes you give a fuck about characters that you have known for 30 years and have never given a fuck about. <laughs> it's like that popular girl finally has tits. I'm interested. Yep. Oh, and she's dead now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can still fuck the corpse. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, oh god, the last episode, the last episode, the last issue of More Than Meets the Eye. I'm going to read that when I get back home. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do yourself a favor. Read it online. Do the panel by panel. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to skip ahead. Exactly. exactly. Don't don't even let give yourself the chance to skip ahead. I ac- I accidentally did that with the uh, with the the final or the issue with how they disposed of Overlord. Mm-hmm. It's like I accidentally skipped ahead. I was like, "What's my eyes being drawn?" And I can't yeah. Stop it. Yeah. But try to do like the online stuff. There's there's like one. There there's something in there between Whirl and Cyclonus that. If you read even slightly ahead, it'll kind of ruin it for yeah. you. Well, the thing that the thing last issue would die out less. I was like, oh, oh, oh my god! I was like, not die out this. No. I'll, I'll tell you what there was. There, and you'll know it whenever you see it. There was a setup that went all the way back to like issue eight or nine. That they put in this little chunk of information. They had this all planned out. Yeah. Because this whole little thing plays back to like issue eight or nine. I went, holy crap, that's incredible. But yeah, the whole thing with Diatlas, you know, you know, it's yeah. just oh man. And see, so, yeah, now now I got to remember what happened all the way back then in the single issues. Yeah, yeah, and Star Saber. Who whoever thought like you always think of Star Saber as being like the hero. But they turned him into like this religious fanatic, and it is it works. It works so <laughs> bloody well. Um, so that's how you do it. You know? Yeah, yeah. If you want to, you tap into the IDW stuff. That's that's how you make a good movie. And then you throw in Jason Voorhees. Yeah, well, and not not, not only that, no humans, but but just <laughs> I mean, it's it's capturing the richness. Of those characters and what they mean to each other and what, how they play against each other and the history between them, and you can't capture that when they only get forty minutes of screen time with ten minutes of dialogue. Yeah, yeah. That being said, like two crossovers that I would like to see, what what I would really like to see, I think there's something to be said for putting them putting Transformers into the Star Trek universe. I, I think <laughs> I think you have hey, hey, you said a day quote unquote how do you fix transform movies and make JJ Abrams do it that's true yeah you that's did say true. that yeah and I think I wasn't knocking it I was just I just wanted to do the faith <laughs> so I think I think Transformers it, it would be great to see like some sort of like little side note where maybe like the Cybertronians accidentally created the Borg. Yeah. It's some sort of Decepticon weapon mm-hmm. to Circuit was the mother. Yeah, Circuit Breaker or something like that. Yeah, right. yeah. 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 And uh beyond that, I'd really like to see Romero, George Romero, tackle a Transformers movie. Give us a good Transformers zombie movie. You know what? Transformers versus Godzilla. Because I think that Yeah, can... yeah. yeah. What we need is more shit. It is shit, but it's shit that I can get behind because it's like no, no, because they did Cyber Godzilla. So in the I almost I almost had one of those prototypes. Yeah, and it's the one. Yeah. And it was I was watching it on AMC one time during like Halloween, and it's like they had an ep, they had a movie where so that's what you want, where they had Cyber Godzilla that was three tanks combined together. Mechazilla. Mechazilla, and I'm like, what the fuck is this Transformer shit doing here? 
And it was like oh, that wasn't that wasn't Cyrus. That was Mogera. Yeah, was Mogero, it? Yeah, he was a he was a uh, an airplane and a tank, a drill tank. Yeah, they combined up into like yeah. I was like, this is solely to sell toys. Oh yeah. So it was like that's. But here's the thing: in Japan, they only ever made one figure of Mogera that transformed. All the rest of them were just vinyl toys. So I was thinking, I was like, look, if you're gonna go knockoff route, at least officially do it would be way better. I mean, you can't have Megatron come back every time and go, my God, 10,000 years ago, we forgot to, ne we neglected to mention that there was a second AllSpark here. Do you know that to use Godzilla's likeness, Toho asks an incredible, I mean, incredible amount of money. I mean, it's, it's a pretty iconic character. Yeah. But it's a character that they really don't use that much anymore. True. They we, wait like every 10 years to make a movie. If for a while there, they didn't. I mean, was, that was actually their plan. They're like, when they made that Matthew Broderick piece of shit, they're like, we're... we're oh, dude, the shelf is actually fucking... We were shelfing this. We are yeah. shelfing it for 10 years. It was... They did uh, Godzilla 2000. Before that, 96, 95, 94, 93. Wasn't the 2000 okay. Destroy All Monsters? Uh, no, uh, two, the year 2000, but I think Destroy All Monsters was actually 67. 1967 was the year Destroy All Monsters came out. Uh, the one that you might be thinking of is Godzilla. It's the 2005 one, Final Wars. That was it. Yeah, yeah which is kind of like a weird little Destroy All Monsters ripoff. Yeah. And this had that one ultimate fighter in it, that Don, I can't remember his name, Don Bleach or something like that. <laughs> It's just like trying to be the most badass guy in there. No one realizes, oh, this is the only dude speaking English in the entire movie. What the hell? <laughs> and, uh, and he's Mexican? Yeah. You know what? Whenever you invaded Earth, there are two things you didn't count on. One was me. The other, Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> I started saying that to cashiers. <laughs> would, you like, would you like it fries with that? Whenever you can. And, <laughs> he was almost Sling Blade. <laughs> but I would like to see, and maybe it's just me, for Infestation. Did anyone here read Infestation? Yes. Mm. Yeah. I loved, I loved the whole the Transformers versus Zombies thing. Mm. I really, which, wait, really Which liked one it. was that one? That was uh, Cthulhu? Was like, no, no, that, I'm talking about the one before that. That's, I think Infestation is, do they have it, do they name it something different? Because... The Cthulhu one is kind of the sequel. What happened in Infestation? One. Infestation, there's this there's this vampire-like monster that has infiltrated several different dimensions. One of them is... And she comes with... It's like a female. She comes with Scourge. Right, Scourge, Cyclonus, Cyclonus and, and Bayonetta. It's like in Vegas. Yeah, yeah. It crashes in Vegas. And Galvatron has this one great line. He, like, bursts out. He goes, kill everything, especially if it's already dead. Yeah. I just love that line. And you really start to see how big of a colossal asshole that IDW Prowl is. <laughs> and in that one, you I, really I, I just I hate I don't like care for the art in that one. The art was a little rough. I will um, give you that. And it's also like my two favorite arcs in IDW so far have been All Hail Megatron and Last Stand of the Records. And that's before them. Yeah. And I have them in trades. Well, no, I think I think Last Stand of the Records is actually the Last Stand of the Records is before the zombie novels. It may be, yeah. but in tr in trade form, I don't think it is. Maybe not. Maybe not. And I'm always when I when I go back and reread them, I'm always like, oh, get through this shit, get through this shit, so I can get to all Hell Megatron and Last Stand of the Records. So. <laughs> so that's half hour spent on one question. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even answer. Yeah, go right ahead. <laughs> So my answer is the very obvious GoBots. Oh, oh, no. oh, true. That would be like one of those stealth things. Yeah, and, like... and I'm not talking about a movie. I don't really care about a movie crossover, but I like like what they did in Transformers Prime where they had like, you know, the truck that Optimus turned into was part of the mask division. Yeah, and that's I'd cool. love to see stuff like that crossed in, not like, you know, official Transformers versus G.I. Joe, but like... You know, some nod towards it. Exactly. Know, something like that. That's what I mean. But like, thing. go subtle. Don't. Yeah. Don't go yeah. full hog yeah. on like bringing everything. Never go full retard. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Good luck finding a fracture for under twenty bucks, and who would have thought that was gonna happen? Exactly. Yeah. 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 Where's my cop tour? Cop tour. 
Ready for your last question? Ready. All right, this is by Jody Webb who says, "What fracking download button do I hit on the four share page to download the episode?" <laughs> Four share is 90. a pain in the dick. <laughs> yes, it is. God damn. Yes, it is. Four share is an absolute pain in the dick, uh, but it is free. Yeah. It is free. All you need to do is you make yourself a membership. It'll take you thirty goddamn seconds, and the download button will magically appear for you, as if by a miracle from God. Except in that case. Yeah, yeah. If if you honestly, here's the thing. If you don't want to hit hit up for shared for this stuff i'm going to give you another option you want to listen to good morning cybertron you deserve good morning cybertron email me directly on youtube i will email you give me your email address i will email you the mp3 scott i don't know if i'm comfortable with you know my email address <laughs> then too damn bad <laughs> make a fake email address and i'll email it to you if you want to i'll walk you down through <laughs> The steps of turning our YouTube podcast, the, the actual file on YouTube, into an MP3. So if you don't want to give me your email address, you can't. I, I will do that for you because what I love What other Transformers <laughs> podcast will do that for you? Yeah, yeah. What other Transformers podcast will meet in someone's house and discuss Transformers amongst themselves? Eat their so much with, so. With chicks on the sidelines, <laughs> some of them legs open, on furniture. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get that type of rock star shit anywhere else. Look at that fucking shelf. Subscribe. <laughs> Rate and comment while you're at it. Oh no, it's too fucking dark. Leave a flashlight. Here we go. This <laughs> bullshit. I'm and did I tell you? You always accuse me of having a dark house. This is much brighter than my house. I have an uber dark house. This you, is, you actually have floors that aren't stained by dog piss. Yeah, well, you haven't been... How did they piss. know? <laughs> <laughs> but no, this house is so bright. I'm like, oh, God. Tell Adam. Man. Yeah, you turn lights on for the company. <laughs> <laughs> but it's... Yeah, it's... Hey, you talk shit about my grandma. <laughs> that was just a shock value joke. I didn't mean it. Shout out to all grandmas. <laughs> Believe me. Unless you're like in your 30s, that shit doesn't yeah, count. For real. Yeah. Thank you. If you're in your 30s and you're a grandma, that shit doesn't count. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, uh, Tracy and I decided that like four children <laughs> for most of these people around the area that we live in, because we live in a very white trash area. That's Government check. Yeah, it's just well, another it's government, government check. check. Not a government check, a, <laughs> a government. 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 I so think they can get their figures. Figures. Exactly. Somebody, somebody, somebody needs to go to work so I can sit here and watch this more Povich. I want to know is he or is he not the goddamn father? <laughs> well, just listen to Good Morning Cybertron yeah. and you'll find out. Yeah, yeah, because you probably got internet. So go ahead and listen to Good Morning Cybertron so, while I go to work and pay your goddamn bills. If I was, if I was in control of this. And I to keep getting your benefits after your fourth child after your third child you must name your fourth child Cut Destroyer. <laughs> every, Especially if it's a girl. Exactly. Every fourth child Cut Destroyer because after four kids goodbye goodbye Vaj. There's no coming back to it now. He's <laughs> over sitting here going like God damn you're right. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Throw the hot dog down. Has, like, hashtag, whistling. Hashtag oh. humorous. <laughs> oh, dude. a lot of cunt destroyers and cumber. Oh, yeah. I can uh, tell you there's one in this room. <laughs> 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 Number three is only a matter of time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, FMLA. Uh, I, I'll tell you what. Bobby has really brought it to this podcast. Because his wife was giving him looks that made it seem like the divorce papers are being filed. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> tonight, tonight was a, a cakewalk for her. She, she just gets scared when I start bringing my nuts out around people. Right? Yeah, right. Look over and all of a sudden. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I dropped them all at him one time. It was so fucking awesome. I was in my chair, the squeaky one. And he, he was leaning right next to him. And I was like, oh, shit, you ever seen these before? He's like, what? And I just lifted up my shirt, my nuts were hanging out, and he was like, ah! Ah! And he was hanging there like an uncooked souffle. <laughs> oh! And I 
that's when shit gets really weird. It looks like somebody put an omelet over two walnuts. <laughs> that's Halloween. That's Halloween parties. Let so. me just go back on Facebook and change that RSVP. <laughs> <laughs> that's when the real fun begins. That was man. a Tuesday. <laughs> oh. And the kids were home. <laughs> Actually, they were. <laughs> time to wrap this one up. Oh. Yes, if you'd like to listen to us, iTunes, Podomatic, Foreshared, and of course YouTube, and now I guess email. Why the fuck <laughs> would you listen to us? We're live in your house right now. Yeah. Recorded. Thank you very much, Adam. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Adam, for recording this. Thank you, Dan, for tweeting this. Yeah. And uh, thank you, Xavier. Xavier flew in. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> flew in from Cali. Man, oh man. We got people a couple states away. Oh, I can't find it. I can't. I, can't, I don't know how, how I'm going to do it. Like, the only thing more impressive is if Mega TF Man or Holson were right. sitting here. Yeah. In fairness, yeah. Pete's too busy bidding. You're fucking. <laughs> That's who we need to mention. We didn't mention Holson. Yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah, Holson. We gotta mention Holson. Holson! The one word of Shout assassin. out to Scandinavia, yeah, buddy. We didn't forget about scary. you. Hey, so can you know. smell the freedom? What's it smell like? It smells like his nuts. It smells, it smells like, like Denny's. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Denny's. Yes. Yeah, we need to do it. We need to do a wholesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 We had, Max just sent me a list of shit we had to do. Alrighty, but we did about half of it, Max. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Justin, you you came a hell of a ways too. You came like an hour and a half. It's not bad. Yeah, Picked up six. Xavier. We all pulled together. Yeah. yeah. This, this fucker was waiting yeah. outside of his house like, where the fuck are you? I kept texting Justin. I know, like, I'm driving, I'm gonna crash, I'm not supposed to be on the phone in Maryland. No, <laughs> texting me. If I was in Virginia, this shit would be fun, but not here, baby. <laughs> with a beer and a cigarette, with Adam outside with me. Yeah. Oh, man. But, you know what, thank each and every one of you for, I guess, watching now. Um, this is only one time deal, like, annually, so don't, yeah. so don't get your hopes up. Yeah. Yeah. Gentlemen, say good night. Good night. Salute. See, See ya. Good night. I, I guess I guess it's radio from here on out. <laughs> well said. <laughs> now that was a podcast. Yeah. 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 Out of-